Hi, Gemini, and welcome back to my channel. With all this current media frenzy focusing on a particular celebrity couple who has reunited and rekindled their love and their romance, I figure, well, let me channel some messages for Gemini and find out who wants a potential second chance at love with you, Gemini. Now, this is a two-part series. So in part one, which is this video, I'm going to be focusing on the person's personality, career, hobby, or interest. Part two is to come in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Alexa Taro, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner, as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, your support, and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe, and I will continue to bring you these channeled messages. All right, Gemini. So the first part here I'm going to take a look at is this person's personality, okay, or descriptors here. Then I'm going to focus on their career, hobby, or interest. So let's take a look here. What is or what are the personalities here for this person who wants a potential second chance at love with you, Gemini? All right, so we have the Three of Cups talking about reconciliation and reunion. Whomever this person is, they do want or they would love to have a second chance uh, at love with you, okay? I'll talk about that in a minute. They also have here temperance, okay? Sometimes they get caught up in their own head here with the Eight of uh, Swords here, but let's find out what's going on here with these two. Well, Three of Cups, this is all about reconciliation, reunion, okay, getting back together, okay, this person may be in this mindset right now at this moment in time, or this may be the energy that is fast approaching this person. So maybe with all this uh, media frenzy, you know, hearing about, uh, you know, people reconnecting from the past, this person may be in this sense of inspiration and may uh, reach out to you. If they haven't done so already, this energy may be fast approaching. The three of cups is a lot of water energy. Now, this person uh, doesn't necessarily have to be a water sign. They could, but they don't necessarily need to be. Now, with water signs, we have Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, okay? These three water signs could be in their uh, astrological, I'm sorry, in their birth chart, okay? So they're at th that astrological uh, essence of uh, those um you know, those signs can be in their uh, birth chart, in their placements, somehow in their uh, birth chart. Okay. So that's number one. Number two, um, those three uh, areas or those three astrological signs that I just told you, Pisces, um, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, there may be something very significant here for this person that may have occurred during those time frames for those astrological signs, okay? Um, it may be something of a life significance to them. It may also be when you guys either got together, met each other, or even uh, separated, broke up, okay? So that could also be relevant there, okay? Now, with the Three of Cups, this person may uh, value friendship. All right. They may like to work in collaborative teams or may have a sense of community, like wanting to give back to the community, wanting to um, uh, help in some way, shape or form, uh, help a community of people. OK, so this may be a community minded person. I feel this person has a bubbly disposition or a happy, go lucky, friendly way of being. I feel that they approach people. Uh, I'm sorry, people approach them. This is why I'm going this way, not that way. Uh, but people approach them because there is this essence or this energy that this person may possess and may naturally just have that they just may attract people to their energy fields. Okay. I feel this person uh, tends to be happy, go lucky is uh, maybe even optimistic. They may look at things from an optimistic point of view. Now, the number three is all about expansion. Okay. It's all about um, growth as well. So this person may be the type of person that once they get to one goal, they want to expand and see what else they can can accomplish. Okay. So this person may have that type of energy. Now with uh, the temperance card, we do have here the Sagittarius energy as well. Again, this person may be a Sagittarius, may not be. 
Not necessarily. They don't have to be, but they may possess Sagittari, uh, Sagittarius uh, energy, okay, um, which is the sense of optimism, okay, the sense of fire with, uh, within them. Um, they may be a little bit of a, a freedom seeker, okay, so they may be uh, this type of person who may like to travel or they may like to uh, explore and expand, all right? Um, with the fire signs, not only uh, is Sagittarius uh, one of the main uh, uh, areas uh, or astrological signs that I'm picking up here with the temperance. And again, same thing applies here with the three of, of cups. Sagittarius is around uh, the time frame of November 20th around there through December 20th around there, give or take you know, a few days here and there. Um, but there may be something of a big life significance for this person in that time frame. Okay. So that's something to be aware of, okay? Now, the Temperance card is all about balance. This person uh, is either in need of balance or always tries to strive for balance in their life, whether that is career family balance, whether that is uh, balance between uh, work and extracurricular activities, or balance between the mind and the heart. But there is this sense here that I'm feeling of wanting to uh, create some type of harmony here. Um, I feel that this, uh, this this person tends to be patient, which is very interesting um, because uh, with this water that's being combined here with the temperance core, it may not seem as that is of patience. But remember, in order to combine two things or to bring two things in harmony and balance, there is a need to have a certain amount of patience, okay? And a certain amount of tenacity, a certain uh, amount of sensibility on how to be able to create that um, in a very easy and flow flowing manner, okay? So that may be uh, here very important uh, about this person or this person's personality or descriptor, okay? Now let's take Take a look here, Gemini, what else we can find out here about this person. They have mel um, melancholy, okay? Now, this is all this melancholic uh, type of energy. Now, this person may have a, um, a happy, outgoing, bubbly personality on the outside, but I feel this person at times does have this uh, withdrawal type of energy, okay? They may have been uh, injured here or hurt or there's some type of loss here in regards to matters of the heart, okay? So I feel that this person may cover up uh, their... Uh, you know, their sorrow, their pain, their hurt, and maybe uh, a connection they may have had with you also, Gemini, okay? This could also ring true. Um, uh, remember, this person that um, wants a potential second chance at love with you, Gemini, you may have had a history or a prior connection with this person. So this person does know you. There may have been some type of incidents, okay, or an incident, uh, moment, situation here where there were some uh, energies or some feelings here about heart, heartache, heartbreak, or regret connected to this person. Okay. Now, because this card came, came across and literally landed here where temperance is, I feel that there is this melancholic or nostalgic feeling here in regards to two things joining. Okay. So there may have been here an issue. Okay. Uh, Gemini with you at some point in time, and this person where there wasn't an easy flow of connecting either your lives together or a point of view together. But there is this kind of feeling here that it comes across as regret that something wasn't able to cross uh, with each other or combine or unify with a uh, more uh, of, a, of a stronger strength here. Okay. That's what I'm getting here with this um, uh, melancholic card. Let's take a look here at what else uh, this person, descriptor, personality, what's coming across. Well, I mean, if there isn't a huge uh, flag here of saying reunion, this is. Remember that I the first thing that I pointed out to you, which is the first energy that came through for this person in regards to uh, this potential second chance at love with you, Gemini, was that this person was looking at reconciling, reunion, or they have their heart set or their mind uh, going towards you, Gemini. And I said it here, 
I'll say it again because guess what? They came up with a reunion card. There is something here that they feel is unfinished. There's an unfinished business type of energy, Gemini, between you and this person, okay? So this person could be very sensitive. That could be a very sensitive topic for them. You could be uh, a point uh, of reference in their life where they really wanted to give uh, all of their love and all their cups to you, okay? Like in this three of cups, all this love that they generated or that your connection may have had here, okay? Their connection with you. And there is this feeling of unfinished business here between you and this person person. Okay. Um, and that may be the reason why this person uh, would want a potential second chance at love with you, Gemini. Now let's take a look here at career, hobby, or interest. Now guys, if you have not clicked and subscribed to the Lexa Tarot family, please do so now so that you can continue to get these messages and don't forget to, uh, click on the, uh, notification bell. Okay. So that you are aware when I have posted, uh, on my channel. All right. So guys, let's take a look here, career, hobby, and interest. Now, remember, this is a part two. Uh, the part two is coming up. This is part one. There's a part two coming up. So come join us for that as well. Speaker, this person's strength may be uh, their communication skills. Okay. They may be a, a, a great communicator, whether that is on paper, emails, taxes. Okay. This person may articulate exactly how they feel or this person may be in a career, a hobby or an interest that focuses on this strong skill set of them. And the reason why I'm saying it's a strong skill set is because they have strength. Okay. So they have strength here as coming in with speaker. They also have here nutrition and family. All right. So I'll take these two for the other signs. I've been called to only take two out, but for you, uh, Gemini, this person uh, energy is calling for more. So with a speaker. They may be great with the written word or with the spoken word. Okay. They may bring affirmations of love with their speech. Okay. Um, in regards to their career, they may be the type of person who is able to communicate very well with others. They may be in a career where talking is in, uh, is one of the strengths, right? Um, it says here with strength, everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. This person may have gone through a lot. Okay. They may have even, like I said, remember that I said earlier that, that there's this um, feeling that I get here that this person had some type of pivotal moment here when maybe things may have broken up with you or when they met you. Okay. So this person may be, uh, may have, uh, really tapped into their inner strength during that time. What I'm feeling here, uh, as well it, with strength is they may be, uh, or they may have, um, a very strong character and that may help them, uh, again, with their career, uh, with whatever hobby or interest that they may, uh, uh, be interested in. Okay. They also have here nutrition. Now you conduct healing work through your culinary skills. Now this person could be a healer, a light worker, an energy, uh, an energy worker here. They could also be a person who's interested in nutrition. They may, their culinary skills may be part of their path. They may work at a restaurant. They may be a dietitian. They may, uh, very, very well work with, uh, you know, in some sh way, shape or form having to do with food. Okay. Not necessarily. But for some of you, this may be the case with this person. Now, this person may also be a vegan or a vegetarian or may uh, very focus a lot on their own nutrition, okay? Um, and that may be part of what they do, uh, whether it's their career, their hobby, or their interest, okay? Now, what I'm also getting here with family is that says here, loving your friends and family is a central, is central to your life purpose. So whatever it is in their career, hobby, or interest, it usually, or it may strongly focus on the sense of family or the sense of collaboration or community. I did say that, and that was something I pointed out here with this three of cups earlier in the reading, where I said that I feel that this person is very community minded type of person, a person who's able to give to others and really make sure that others are in a position of strength. Okay. So this person may also uh, work with uh, uh, community based organizations, 
They may focus on uh, ensuring that families are well nourished, that there is a sense of well being, okay, uh, you know, with people in general, with, you know, just the planet Earth, maybe very uh, so, uh, social activists as well, okay? So a lot of um, avenues here where this person can uh, really flourish with all these strengths here that they have, okay? Let's take a look at this last deck. My apologies here, Gemini. This is going a little bit overboard on time. Uh, but, you know, I channel messages. Guess what? They have Angel of Strength again. So this is not a coincidence that the Strength card has come through for this person. It has come through for this person twice. There is a sense of strength that this person has. Now, what that what that may also mean, they may be, they may look physically strong. That's one. They may tap into their spiritual awareness, their, uh, their inner strength, their inner of faith, there may be a person of, of great faith, okay, in regards to uh, maybe perhaps religion or spirituality. This person may also just have a strength as in tenacity. This person is determined, accomplished, is really focused. Whatever it is that they may do in their career, they may be very strong. They may have very strong skill sets here uh, that, you know, make them shine above everyone else or that people are drawn to their achievements or accomplishment uh, accomplishments here. Okay. They're also, I mean, guys, uh, you can't, this is, this is, uh, Hello, confirmation again, heartbreak, Gemini, this person who wants a potential second chance at love with you was heartbroken by either the separation, the breakup, or, you know, for some of you, this may even be divorce, okay? But whomever this person may be, there is a sense here of being heartbroken. Now, very interesting because this is talking about career, hobby, or interests. Now, this could also indicate here that there's something here in their career, hobby, or interest that was triggered by the sense that there was a heartbreak here. So there may have been something here that either triggered them into coming into a different direction or going into a different direction in regards to their career, hobby, or interest, okay? Or there may have been something here in regards to um, heartbreak, okay? Um, them helping families that have gone through some type of trauma or heartbreak as well, okay? So there may be the sense of helping those who have uh, endured some type of trauma in their lifetime. Okay, that may be a career hobby or a specific skill set that they have. They're good at helping others, uh, giving uh, uh, advice, guiding them in some way, shape, or form. Maybe even, um, you know, uh, you know, providing some type of well-being uh, in a spiritual sense here to people who uh, feel broken inside. Gemini, oh, guess what, Gemini? Right, right when I was going to end the uh, reading, they have the fourth uh, chakra here. They have uh, Angel Raphael. The so uh, Angel Raphael is about healing, and guess what? The fourth chakra is about. It's about the heart. Okay, you guys could Google that if you want. But uh, as a Reiki practitioner, uh, this this is uh, this is very powerful here with this person. Whomever this person is, definitely there has been this sense of uh, making sure that the heart here is something that they do and they do because they love someone or they love the community that they work in. They love their career. They love their hobby or they love their interests. Uh, Gemini, I hope these messages were insightful. Click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here for more messages. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.